Let's talk about some reasons why Medicare Advantage plans are still called a supplement. See, most individuals that are enrolled into a Medicare Advantage plan will still commonly refer to that as their supplement plan. And here's two reasons why they actually do that. Number one, the individual must continue to pay the standard Medicare Part B monthly premium of $148.50 in 2021. So it can appear that they still have Medicare Part A and B as their primary insurance. The second reason is that many Medicare Advantage plans will also offer additional benefits that are not provided by original Medicare. So it could appear that the plan is actually supplementing Medicare Part A and Part B. Let's talk about the second misconception individuals have about Medigap supplement plans is that they can switch or buy any plan from any company during that open enrollment period OEP that runs from October 15th through December 7th of each calendar year. Unfortunately, that is incorrect because they may be turned down for coverage based on health conditions. Let's talk about that. An individual that has original Medicare as their primary insurance can change or buy a Medigap supplement plan from any company at any time during the entire calendar year. If an individual is outside of their seven month initial enrollment period IEP, they may need to medically qualify for the Medigap supplement plan and could unfortunately be potentially turned down for coverage based on health conditions. So let's talk about reasons why someone can be declined for a Medigap supplement plan. A lot of individuals that we talk to here at Healthcare Solutions Direct are surprised to hear that they can be declined for a Medigap supplement plan. You see, if an individual is outside of the seven month initial enrollment period IEP, they may lose the protection of being guaranteed for a Medigap supplement. Here are some reasons for that. Number one, the Medigap supplement companies do not get any federal funding for offering the plan and yet they assume all the liability for the 20% coinsurance. A Medicare Advantage plan, on the other hand, does get federal funding for offering an alternative plan to original Medicare. The second reason is this. The rule that's set forth by CMS is that anyone that's newly eligible to Medicare or losing their coverage involuntarily cannot be turned down for a Medigap supplement plan. Unfortunately, outside of those parameters, a company can evaluate health conditions and decide not to offer or extend any type of coverage. So let's ask this question. When is the best time to buy a Medigap supplement then? The best time for an individual to buy a Medigap supplement plan is during the six month Medigap open enrollment period, which is when an individual is turning 65 or they're picking up their Medicare Part B for the very first time. See, during this period, an individual can purchase a Medigap supplement plan from any company regardless of their health conditions and will automatically be approved for the coverage. See, if an individual is looking to keep original Medicare Part A and B as their primary insurance, this will be the best time to enroll into a Medigap supplement plan. If you are looking to enroll into a Medigap supplement plan, please call us here at Healthcare Solutions Direct so we can look at your current situation and be able to advise you on the best option for you. So here are some reasons those that are first eligible should buy Medigap. See, Medicare states that when an individual is first eligible for Medicare or they're picking up their Part B for the very first time, the individual will typically get better prices and have more choices available to them. That is correct, and here are some of the reasons for that that we've discussed just a little bit earlier. Number one, Medigap supplement plans do not get any federal funding from the federal government like that of a Medicare Advantage plan. Number two, Medigap supplement plans are allowed to not offer coverage outside of a Medigap open enrollment period or a guaranteed issue period based on health conditions in order to minimize claims and maximize profits. See, if an individual is healthy, it would be very smart to shop their Medigap supplement plan every couple of years since the plans are standardized and the alphabet letter will be identical coverage and benefits from any other company. A lot of individuals don't know that they can shop their Medigap supplement plans any time during the calendar year. I will recommend to you that you call us here at Healthcare Student Direct so we can look at your current situation and see if we can give you the same exact coverage you currently have right now and maybe save you a little money along the way. Look forward to hearing from you.